back into First Take. In case you're just joining us, Stephen A. sat down with Will Smith in New York to discuss his upcoming film, Concussion, which will be released on Christmas Day. Stephen A., this film obviously very controversial. Will Smith portrays Dr. Omalu, the pathologist who discovered CTE. What did you learn from sitting down with Will? Well, what I learned <clears throat> just by sitting down with him and then talking to him after we had interviewed, after I'd interviewed him, is that obviously it was an incredible concern. It moved him as a parent of a football player. Uh, his son was playing high school sports and what have you. He just felt like the players need to know. You know, and that he believes that obviously America being the greatest country in the world, incredibly concerned about its citizens as well, uh, you know, the National Football League in particular would then take the appropriate steps, uh, you know, once the players were more well informed. And I think that what resonated with me is that it gave you the impression. And obviously, dare I say the fact that a lot of players simply were not aware of the severity of these issues. They knew that these are the kind of things that were going on, but they weren't aware of the, the residual effects and the residual impact it could ultimately have on their life. And folks like Dr. Amalu, played by Will Smith, just obviously felt fervently that people needed to know they had a right to know and it's something that everybody needed to be aware of to the point where it was illustrated visually for all eyes to see. When you see a guy like Mike Webster, who was the center for the, for the Pittsburgh Steelers, the way that he's betrayed in the movie, Skip, going through what he went through before he ultimately died. Terry Long drinking antifreeze. Dave Dorson shooting himself. The list goes on and on, mood swings, depression, homelessness, loss of memory, all of these different things. Uh, the movie, which which obviously I saw the screening, it was a very good movie, uh, excellent performance by Will Smith, I have to say. It was just one of those things where we can read about it all day long, but when you visually see the kind of potential impact it can have, it's clearly very, very riveting. And Will Smith made it a point to tell me that numerous players have reached out to him, talking to him about how they can't wait to see this film. And obviously they're hearing that he did it justice. And I'm here to confirm as a person who saw the movie, he most certainly did. It definitely made you take a step back. As fans of the NFL that we are, knowing how violent this game is, what comes with this. And as you would say on many occasions, Skip, you sign up for this, you know what you're getting into. The reality is th this film sort of gives you the impression that maybe, just maybe, as much as you think you may know what you're getting into, you may not realize that. That's okay. basically what I got. I got it. I want to go two big directions with you. Let, let's, sure. let's start and stay with the great Will Smith. Obviously, this man is box office. This man is an extremely accomplished actor with a long resume who has remained extremely popular and, and crosses all lines. Black, white, name the color. Will Smith is popular, crossover yep. popular. So when I first heard he had chosen to play this character in this movie, and, and this man says in the movie, this doctor, God did not intend for us to play football. As long as we do, men will die. Now that's a mouthful, man. And for Will Smith to choose, willingly choose to play a doctor who is attacking the most popular sport in this country was, was surprising to me. And because Stephen A, I, I think most fans, most fans won't love it that Will chose to play this character. I could be wrong. Now, I hope he wins a whole bunch of awards for portraying this character because it has potential to win him awards. Whether it has potential to be big box office, I, again, I never can guess about these things when, when I least expect it. Some movie just takes off. As, as they say about Hollywood, nobody knows what's going to work or not. Maybe this will work, and God bless them, I hope it does. My gut feeling is that a lot of fans, even sophisticated fans, are really, really interested at the height of pro football season going to this movie and hearing all this. I think most fans know that this is all operating out there. It's not that, that they're they're just lending, you know, turning deaf ears to this. They get it, but it's part of the attraction of the game 
that, that it has obvious inherent risks and dangers to it. That's, that's part of the appeal of pro football. You know that and I know that. So back to Will's choice of playing this, he said many times as he gets older, as an artist, he, he'll choose more ed, you know, edgier films to, to make people think. And he, he alluded to that. And, and by, by the way, your interview is sensational. I, that's the first time I heard it. It was, it was riveting, start to finish. Great questions, well, right on time. Well done. Thank you. But I wonder deep down if he fears there'll be a backlash of unpopularity because he chose to play this character in the big picture. Well, let me say this to you. He does, it's not that he doesn't care, but he doesn't worry about it, A, because he believes as an artist, you have to perform your art. You, you have do. to do the job. Yep. And I remember, I remember years ago, Will Smith told me this, and Denzel Washington confirmed it to me. Denzel Washington has a very, very popular statement. He says, do what you have to do, so eventually you can do what you want to do. Okay. There's a price that you pay. Yeah. in artistry that you have to perform in, all, in, ulti, in order to ultimately graduate to doing the things that you want to do. And when I bring that up, I bring it up because it seemed important to Will, talking to him privately as well as on camera, it seemed incredibly important to him that as much information as could be put out there was put out there. But he also went to the other side, Skip, and tirelessly pointed out that he loves the NFL and his love for the NFL hasn't dissipated, not to mention the fact that he wanted to acknowledge that he knows, like everybody else knows, that the NFL have done some things to address its safety issues. So in the aftermath or right before talking to Will Smith, I actually spoke to the NFL prior to the interview. And it's a couple of things that I want to point out here, Skip. I still got it in my email right now. It says here in the past decade, this is from the NFL, in the past decade, the league has made 39 rules changes related to player health and safety. In addition to team medical staff, there are independent concussion specialists present on both sidelines at every single NFL game with sideline technology, medical personnel have access to the electronic medical records of all players. Additionally, the medical timeout, a new change implemented this year, allows an independent athletic trainer in the press box to stop the game to have a player receive medical attention should they show signs of distress or disorientation. And by the way, in 2013, they launched a four-year, $60 million collaboration with G to advance concussion research, prevention, and diagnosis and treatment. So when you look at what the NFL has done in terms of making those steps, Will Smith was aware of it, but still felt compelled to do this film because that speaks to what they've done since the issue has come to light. What he wanted to highlight is still the potential residual impact make sure it's illuminated but also i think there was something inside of him that wanted to highlight the stress and the rest that dr amalu had to experience yeah. because when he first came out with cte chronic traumatic encephalopathy when yeah. he first came out with it you know there was resistance people called them a quack said he didn't know what he was doing yeah. said his prognosis his diagnosis was ridiculous etc cetera, etc cetera. and so that's that underdog story that appeals to an artist does. along I with agree. the the illumination of wow we right. all need to know about this right and and as you well know if you look back at, at will's resume he will take chances on things that he likes that are going to make people think uh, I am yeah. legend, pursuit of happiness, yeah. and even the way all the yeah. way back, a bigger risk to me in a different way was Bagger Vance. So you got he, he will try things that you think, wow, that's that's not what I expect from Will Smith, but that's what I love and respect the most about Will Smith. Now, well, that's what makes him great. That's correct. Okay, now back to this issue. Look, the the best part about all this, about this this film about this new focus on concussions is that we have new protocols to save the players from their fearless selves. That's the best thing that's happened, and that's a huge positive for this sport. But, but I think deep down, even though Will admits that he now would have second thoughts about letting his son play, play 
high school football because he said, you know, all I ever worried about was spine or knee injuries and now I'm worried more about the head. Even though he says that, he, he also says that, that the, the upshot is we can now make football better. And I don't think he wants us to do away with football the way he does it. The, 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 the film comes across like at, at some point Dr. Omalu wants to just do away with football. Well, that's not going to play well in this country, obviously. That's, well, okay? that's, but that's not. Now, but but un, unfortunately, they're not going to care much about what Dr. Omalu says. No. More so than they'll care about what Will Smith is saying. And Will Smith is saying that's ex, that's absolutely not what he feels. Okay, he I, still loves football, and he I wants you it. to love football. Okay. Now, my personal reflection on all this: I've been covering this league for 40 years. I have known hundreds hundreds of ex-players and stay in touch with many of them. I should probably have more sympathy for their plights, but I don't because they were all pretty smart to very smart individuals. And trust me on this, Stephen A. Smith, they knew they were playing a high-risk game because clearly you'd have to be a fool, be an idiot, be an imbecile to not think that if, if I'm a great athlete and a big man, and I'm running as fast as I can head on into another man, something could go wrong, right? I mean, th they knew that, that they would have symptoms. They'd be seeing stars for days. They've had headaches for days. So, again, these studies have brought, brought to the forefront, oh, wow, it, it, this could really go off the tracks at some point if you don't watch it, although I do think that's, that's slightly exaggerated. But um, do, do we need to go? Yeah, we, okay, we you're do. giving me the sign. I'm yeah. right in the middle of the story. So, um, but, but let's just stop, I guess. Okay. okay. I'm sorry to interrupt. Well, I was guys. interested in hearing yeah. more no, from you, I, 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 I was, was interested I in hearing more. I want to hear more, too. And we'll, and we'll, we'll <laughs> get into it next. Stephen A., this is a bigger issue than sports. We appreciate you sitting down. Uh, wonderful work by you and Skip. We'll get the rest of your story later. Sorry that had to get mm -hmm. interrupted. Later on, former Steeler and friend of the show, Ryan Clark, joins us with his perspective on the concussion issue. Ryan is an executive committee member of the NFLPA. We're looking forward to his insight. Ryan will also be with us for our next combo, weighing in on Odell Beckham being suspended one game. More more fallout and details from Sunday's matchup and the matchup within the matchup when we come back.